So Ferns never won a senior title last final back in 1969. Do you think today can be a bit different, Des? Um, I do, I do. Um, 1969, 44 years, there's been a lot of, a lot of waiting. Um, but, um, you know, we really, believe, we really believe that we have the team this year. The preparation is right and that we hope we can deliver. And it's a brilliant midfield pairing as well of uh, Benny Jordan and, um, and uh, Tommy Dwyer as well. Yeah, the lads, the lads covered the ground. Um, they wouldn't exactly be the bulkiest midfielders in the country, but they're, they're fast, they let the ball flow, um, and they're making a huge difference. They're hard men to handle this year. They've really grown throughout championship, like seven wins from seven, and a brilliant display against Retinue really showed how uh, clinical they can be. Um, let's be honest, this isn't just about growing through this year's championship. If you actually look at Ferns, you need to look how they've grown over the last two or three years. Um, in particular, you know, over the last two years, we're, we're sort of in the middle of a plan at the moment um, of progress. So each, each, each game has been incremental improvement. And you really need to look at where we were back two years ago to see how far we've come. Seven wins out of seven, never in the history of the club have we put a, a, a streak like that together. But, to be perfectly honest, we're still not hurting at 100%. And today is going to be the day where you won't get by delivering 85, 90. Today we're going to have to deliver 100 and catch Owlert on the hop. Do you think that you can catch Owlert? I mean, have you seen them through championship yet? Uh, yeah. No, no, we've, we've watched them through championship. There's no, there is no doubt. We believe we can get them. We're not here today to make up the numbers. Um, last year, we found ourselves in a strange position being ahead of Owlert in, and, and we didn't close it out. But that was almost a shock. We're now psychologically, physically, mentally ready um, to play Owlert and to beat them today. Um, so we're, we're, we're ready for it. And the big thing as well with Owlert is that they are clinical in their finishing. I mean, just in their semi-final game, they, I think they scored the last six or seven points and that really stood to them in the end when they won by seven, 17 points to 10. Do you think that Ferns can last the full 60 minutes, which is vital anyway to the eventual outcome? Okay, well, first of all, Owlert are clinical in their finishing. Um, if you saw the Owlert rapper, if you saw the Owlert fed Harriers match, you wouldn't have said that. The Harriers had him on the rocks. And what that proved to the whole county is that actually Owlert are not the invincible force that they have been for the last five years. Can Ferns last the 60 minutes? Um, that's one of the things that we've worked on. Ferns have been known as a team over the, over the years, over the decades almost, as a team that if you, if you put the pressure on them, that they kind of wilted in the second half. We're not that team anymore because we proved it here the last day against Glenbarrentown. Glenbarrentown had a run five or six points and was 15 minutes in the second half. Everybody would expect the Ferns to blow up. And that's why I talk about the mental ability. The lads have the physical fitness, but they have the mental ability to withhold. They're a 60-minute team now, and that's what's made a difference this year. Des, there's been a lot of hype around uh, Ferns for the last week or so. Do you think that that could have made them a little bit complacent? Um, I don't think so. I'm, I'm not the type of chairman that's in the dressing room and in around the team. Um, everybody in the club has a job to do. Um, so I, I haven't changed my role. And, and, and really, John Barron, um, Joe Morris, Patrick Bailey, Andy Dwyer, and her whole backroom team have managed the lads. Um, could they get caught up in the hype? Yeah, of course they could. Is the hype important? Um, we're in a club that's in existence for 127 years. We've never won a senior hurling title. This is what it's all about. Have we been hyping? Yeah, we have. Because for me, this is an opportunity for us to connect with the children. This is an opportunity for us to connect with the next generation of young hurlers. And we need the hype. We've been in and out of the primary schools. We've been getting the kids involved. So this, yeah, there's hype. Um, but I think the, player, the players are relaxed. The players are looking at this. I, I wouldn't like to be in the outer dressing room. They're coming into a five in a row. There's pressure on them. Our lads, do you know, we're here. That's what was expected of us. Our lads can go out and enjoy today and play. I don't think there's much pressure on our lads. Jason O'Neill, chairman of Ferns GA Club. Best of luck today, and I hope you can get the victory anyway out of uh, 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 defeating Oldwood Valley. Thanks a million, Michael.